guys, it's Psychic Bob, and this is the Solstice. Well, you know the Solstice is a wonderful time. It's a time of power, it's a time of blessing, and we're going to show you how to make a magic charm today. I'm sure you won't want to miss this. So, keep it here, and I'm going to show you how to make a mystical solar wand. Now the supplies for this video are very simple. All you need is some cardboard. Here I used an old shoe box, uh, some glitter, gold glitter is what I'm going to use because it's the solstice, a wooden dowel. You can buy these at most craft stores or at hardware stores even. Uh, anyways, uh, you can make your dowel as uh, long or as thick as you want. I bought these pre-made from a craft store so I bought a pack of them for like $2. Anyways, you need a dowel rod. You don't have to buy a whole pack. You can just buy individual rods at many places. And some black paint. Now, the first thing that I like to do is I like to put a base of black paint on my dowel rod. Um, the reason why that is is that the black coating will allow it to be more luminous later on. And you'll see that as we go through. So you can just take some paint here and just paint down your dowel rod. Just takes a few strokes. Don't need a lot of paint. You don't have to be particularly fancy about this. It can be done very quickly, as you can see I'm doing. We're just going to paint that around here. By the way, you'll notice I have some white paper down. Uh, that's because we don't want to damage the table. But as you can see here, we've got our dowel rod painted. I'm going to let that just sit up for a minute. Uh, you want to just let that dry. It, uh, just take about 10 or 15 minutes. While our dowel, dowel rod is drying, we want to start on the second part of this wand. This wand is a two-part wand. It's going to consist of a staff and have a, a, a solar top. So, taking your cardboard, um, you want to start to trace a solar image. Now you can make it a circle or you can make it a star. I'm going to make like a starburst pattern. So I'm going to trace the sign of the elven star here. As you can see it's a nice beautiful star. Don't worry about being too neat and perfect with this. You can make it as creative as you like. But as you can see here, I have the beginnings of the pattern of a star. I think that looks wonderful. I might want to enlarge it. Don't worry, um, this, this is going to all be covered over so you won't see the lines. So feel free to edit it as you go along. You may have one area you want a little more. Maybe you want to put an extra ray in. I'm going to do that. Put extra rays in here. You can just trace those in. What a nice big starburst pattern. As you can see, I've trimmed away the extra cardboard, and we now have just a smaller piece of cardboard with our solar image on it. Now what you want to do is just go ahead and cut that out. The more rays you have, of course, the more complex it becomes. We just want to trim those out. As you're doing this, it's a wonderful time to meditate upon what changes you want to make in your life. Solstice time is a wonderful time for us to work on spiritual renewal. It's a time to work on joy within our spirits. It's a time to let go of past hurts. Solar power is all about connecting with that divine energy, that divine Lord light. And you want to keep that in mind as you're working on your wand. Just 
just work on around trimming out your star. Don't worry if it's not perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be creative and free. Try to meditate on the solar rays, what those feel like beaming down. Have you ever walked out in the sun and felt renewed and refreshed? I know I sure, certainly have. Just work on around your star. Don't get too anxious for it to be perfect. As you can see, we're about halfway there. I have a new camera, so I'm still learning how the angles work. There you go. How's that looking? So just continue on around trimming, making it beautiful. Now that we have our star cut out, our solar image, you want to again take your black paint just get a little paint. This doesn't have to be a fancy paint job. It's not going to really be seen. Um, but just go ahead and paint your star. Just color it in, in black. I say again, you can just ignore the lines. That's why I said it's going to all get painted over. It doesn't matter if it's uh, perfect or not. There you go. Doesn't have to be fancy. Now, you also will want to do the other side. Uh, but I'm going to let this dry for a few minutes. While that's drying, you want to check your dowel. Our dowel's almost dry, just a tiny bit wet. So we'll let that sit for just a few minutes. Now you want to just put some glue now on your star. It's set up. Just coat that star with the glue. Try to get all the edges, the little rays. It's a little messy, but that's okay. And there you go. Now what you can do is you can take your star, you can dip it in the glitter. Just dip that star in. You can also take some glitter and sprinkle it on the edges of your sun. Just give it a good coating of glitter. You can be generous with the glitter. Then you can just pick your star up, shake off the excess, and look what we now have. Isn't that beautiful? A glistening sun. Now I'm looking at our wand. I think it needs just a little more glitter. So we're going to give it another roll. Just get it all sparkly. How's that looking? See how it glistens? Wonderful. Now the final part is you want to just hook your sun to the back of the wand. Now <coughs> we could glue, <coughs> excuse me, we could glue it or tape it. Today I'm just going to tape it because you know, for expediency's sake, um, but you can do either. Um, just hook that on your wand. In fact, Hook that on and then if you want to paint it, that would probably be the better way to go.
And there we go, guys. We now have our new solar wand. Isn't that beautiful? Well, guys, as you can see, I now have my solar wand. I am psyched and ready for the solstice celebrations. So I'm looking out here and I'm raising my solar wand and I'm chanting to the great sun lord. I am so glad you guys joined us today. It's been so much fun. Listen, keep it here at Spirit Channel. We're going to have a lot more videos coming and I'm so excited to have you here. If you're new, why don't you hit that subscribe button? We'd sure love to have you. And uh, give me comments in the box below, thumbs up, and uh, keep it here for more videos. Blessings to you.